Hey guys, hi and once again welcome to the video. This is in continuation with my series that I have started with serverless framework with Python. This uh, session that is lab 7, I'm gonna go with a very basic hello world um, serverless um, code. Essentially what we're gonna do is you wanna make an API essentially that hits a lambda and then slowly slowly I'll dive deeper and deeper and deeper. For example then we'll learn about authentication, we'll add an API key in that. So okay, that, that's great. Then we'll uh, do a little bit more. We'll add Cognito to that. So a little bit more to that, right? Then essentially once that's done, then we'll dive into quotas, right? Uh, for example, setting burst limit, uh, rate limiting, throttling, all that, okay? Once that is done, then we'll look into, okay, how can we create multiple API keys? Each API key has a certain quota. Uh, so all of that uh, is uh, there in this series, not in this video. This is essentially a hello world. All right, all right, so let's get started. Uh, starting, uh, oops, starting this session with lab number seven, Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes easy for developers to create, publish, and maintain, monitor, and secure API at any scale. Uh, what I mean by that is think of this as a Flask or a Django API that can scale up. Just think of it like that, okay? This is all I'm trying to say. So essentially, it's used for making serverless API, okay? All right, all right, let's get started. So come to uh, my GitHub profile, as you can see here. I have all the labs here for you. This is gonna be a lab number seven, okay? So let's get started. So this lab uh, will essentially start with creating a very simple, and I'll use my magnifier because I know people do watch the videos from a phone as well. So this is lab seven, and the, here I have a folder called learn. All you need to do is create two folders, serverless.yaml and handler.py. Handler.py is our essentially Lambda code, okay? So as you can see here, I have a Lambda, right? All it does, it spits out the event in the response, okay? And if you wanna go more in detail on how to add layers, external packages, these couple of labs, lab one, two, three, four, are the one that you are looking for. But this is a very simple hello world, okay? Okay, so now let's keep going down the line. So org, scientist1995, so whatever company name you have, you can put that. App, you could put your app name. Console, that's true. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just providing that. But if you want, you can remove that. Uh, service, uh, I'm just giving it a name. AWS Python HTTP API project. Whatever you want to give, you could provide that. Now here I'm saying provider as AWS. Runtime as 3.8. I'm using Python 3.8, right? Memory, I'm giving uh, memory to essentially my Lambda, right? How much memory I want to give. Timeout, how much, uh, what is the maximum time my Lambda can run for? So I'm defining that. I'm defining my architecture. These are some of the tags that I'm using. These are good things to have when you are deploying your APIs, right? So for example, then it allows you to track cost based on tags, right? So ENV, when, I, when did I create it? Customer impact as false. Does this have a customer impact? No. Terraform false means I'm not using Terraform. So all these tags allows you to, you know, track your billing essentially much more easier. Then very easy function. Then I have a name of the function is hello. Handler as handler.hello, which means go to the handler file and call the hello function here, okay? Then you're saying event HTTP path as hello, there is a, so I wanna make an API route call hello. This is gonna be a post method, okay? So very easy, right? Now we can easily deploy this stack by using SLS deploy. Um, just that magic word and this will deploy your entire stack to AWS. Serverless makes things very, very easy. In the next video, I'll be talking about authentication, API keys, right? So we'll go slowly, slowly. I don't wanna show everything in one video. Uh, to overwhelm you so rather we'll go baby steps very basic hello world then okay how do i add authentication okay then how do i add a domain name on that so slowly 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 we'll progress on the course okay so uh, as you can see this would be creating my stack might, might take about two minutes or three minutes depending upon uh, that but yeah now you can use pandas numpy you can you know use um what you call layers that right so in my previous labs as i said uh I have all these, um, so in my lab too, I talked about how you can use layers, right? So this is the code that I showed you. I was using a plugin, right? So you can come and watch uh, those tutorials. The links are also there, okay? So if you are looking to add layers, another complex thing on your Lambda, there are videos for that. So please do watch out, okay? All right, so I'm simply waiting at this point. 
once this is complete i'll show you I'll, I'll show you to invoke the api and then we go on the next step that is lab 8 will be adding api keys authentication to your serverless framework okay so all right we are on step 10 almost there pretty close There is a really lot more to add here as well. For example, as I said, quotas and everything, then you have models, how you can validate your JSON body. Putting everything in a, in a YML file is simply amazing. But as I said, you don't wanna go everything in one go, right? You wanna go slowly, slowly, right? So as you can see now, this has deployed and it gave me a URL here. I will come here, click on copy, and then I go to my postman, and this is the URL, slash hello. And now I'm hitting the API and as you can see, I have my response back. It's simply spitting out the JSON. So as you can see, works fine. Now I'll simply also show you on, on the management console. So try to use framework, try to use, um, you know, framework if possible, right? This will make your life much more, much more easy. Okay. So let's go service. Let's go API gateway. And hopefully I will be able to show you. I think I'll be logged out. Not much. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. So as you can see, REST endpoints type is edge, right? So here you can see we have a simple hello route. Uh, essentially, uh, this will, uh, you know, call a Lambda. As you can see, this is my Lambda. It did all the deployment for me. Now, uh, of course, you can set concurrency, provisional concurrency, reserved concurrency, and all that great stuff that AWS comes with, right? But not in this video, we'll, we'll cover all that later on. So this is lab number seven with the code. I would request everybody to please go ahead, download the lab and physically try yourself, okay? With that being said, thank you so much for watching. See you in lab number eight, where we'll add API authentication in this, okay? Thank you so much.